ang iyong sisipi ay nagpatuloy sa pagpapanawag ng anak ng maraming simbahan, nagpatuloy sa pagpapalakas ng mga programa. He would be enthusiastic energy. He is known for his passion in whatever he does. R is for resourceful and relevant. And one of the product, of course, is our very own Shalom Center, uh, without which our programs would not have been funded for so long. M would stand for mission and ministry. It will not be long if you get to know him that you will hear from him about Miseo Dei, that our mission is a mission entrusted to us by God. He would be engaged ecumenics. He has led in uh, ecumenical organizations within the Philippines, but also his influence has reached to the region of Asia as well as to the globe. Brothers and sisters, may I present to you the General Secretary, a model, a mentor, our very own Bishop and Dr. Ermi R. Kamba. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Thank you. General Secretary Bishop Bimboy for inviting me to deliver this message in this grand celebration of the 71st anniversary of our beloved United Church of Christ in the Philippines. Hundreds and thousands of such beautiful stories are in your local churches and conferences. They need to be written for the sake of the generations who follow us. Let us look back and find God's faithfulness in the United Church despite our continuing quarrels and division. I suggest that all local churches write their own history now before our grandparents in the faith join the Lord. If we do not do this now, we will lose the memory of those days and our children will not have the privilege of knowing that the Loras and Loras were instrumental in changing the religious landscape of the Philippines. The United Church leadership also has to learn painfully the importance of sound management. A failure in judgment and making investment demoralized the members and greatly affected the campaign for the first self-reliance fund. But the church did not give up. This challenge for survival sustained us. Now we can take pride in the fact that we have become a self-determining, self-propagating, and self-reliant church. Thank God. Our challenge is to set up an educational program which provides excellent biblical, theological, and ethical guidance for the laity to enable them to do their mission in their own sphere of influence in the contemporary social, cultural, economic, and political situation. The church must be able to train, lay, and ordain theologians for this difficult task. As we move forward, let us acknowledge what God has done through all this past 71 years. As God has guided our forefathers, pioneers of the Protestant Christianity in this islands, I have a strong faith that God will continue to guide us to face our continuing challenges in our 72nd year towards our diamond jubilee. So be it. Amen. Amen.